Hi, my name is Dr. Karen Joyce and I'm a geospatial scientist. Not sure what that means? Well, join me and you can see for yourself. Hey, so it's day two on Heron Reef and just getting ready to head out for a snorkel. So we've just had a really super high tide this morning. So that's dropping off now and so getting the waiting just waiting until the water depth gets to an appropriate level to be able to snorkel and to easily see and duck dive to some of the features that we want to check out um, and then we'll jump in the water. So our priority this morning is an area just north of the just north of the channel still on the reef flat and there's some really really interesting coral features that have come up so clearly in some of our past drone images but we haven't been able to get out there and check exactly what they are. We know it's coral, but we want to see which components exactly are the live coral. And this is a, this is a key part of what we're doing is to be able to see exactly in the field which bits of the live coral and then make sure that what we're estimating from the air is the same. And once we're, once we're sure that we've calibrated that properly, then that allows us to map over much larger areas. just been out counting sea cucumbers of all things out here on the reef so there are hundreds thousands maybe even tens of thousands of sea cucumbers of a variety of different species out there so it's really exciting just to count how many of them there are and what we can see now one of the reasons that we're doing this is that we realized a couple of years ago when we were flying our drone in the area was that we could actually count the sea cucumbers using the drone imagery but what we like to do is to make sure once again that what we see in the drone is actually what we see out here on the reef. So this is what we called field checking or calibration and validation. So we go out, put a transect tape out. So this one's 30 meters. We lie it out and then go along and we're counting all the different types of sea cucumbers that we see as we swim along that transect. We're also taking photos as we go. And then we'll fly that exact same area and use that imagery that we get from the drone to once again calculate the, the number of sea cucumbers and we're looking for a match between those two different data sets. Now if we get a really good match that's awesome because that means that we can start to use more drone data and less in-water field survey because the challenge with the in-water field survey is that it's time consuming and obviously you need to need to get in there and as much as it's, it's fun to go out for a snorkel you can't snorkel everywhere so we can get further faster with the drone that's a far more efficient way to work out what we have out there on the reef thanks for watching a day in the life of a geospatial scientist i hope you've enjoyed it and if you haven't already seen the other episodes please tune in below